Well, almost uh, one year after conclusion of Bharat Jodo Yatra's first edition, Congress has. पहली बार मैं हिंदुस्तान के एक प्रदेश में गया जहां गवर्नेंस का पूरा का पूरा इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर कोलैप्स कर गया था आज तक हिंदुस्तान के प्रधानमंत्री मणिपुर में आपके आंसू पोचने आपसे गले लगने आपका हाथ पकड़ने नहीं आए क्षम की बात शायद नरेंद्र मोदी जी के लिए बीजेपी और आरएसएस के लिए मणिपुर हिंदुस्तान का भाग ही नहीं है ये चुनाव चुनावी यात्रा नहीं है चुनाव के ध्यान को, को ध्यान में रखकर यह यात्रा नहीं निकाली गई है भारत जोड़ो यात्रा के समय भी यही सवाल उठा था कि क्या ये आप निकाल रहे हैं चुनाव के नतीजों पर प्रभाव लाने के लिए राहुल जी ने बार बार कहा था ये एक वैचारिक यात्रा है भारत जोड़ो यात्रा के समय और उसी श्रृंखला में भारत जोड़ो न्याय यात्रा भारत जोड़ो यात्रा को आगे ले चल रहा है The Bharat Jodo Nyay Yatra will cover 15 states in 68 days. This yatra is expected to cover 100 Lok Sabha seats. However, while the Congress would have liked it to be a full show of strength, two things happened on the same day that raised question marks on the yatra. First, Priyanka Gandhi was uh, nowhere to be seen. The Gandhi sibling, who was recently uh, divested of her portfolio as UP in charge, while being retained as the Congress General Secretary without a portfolio, is said to be offshore. BJP saw this as a sign of rift, but Congress tried to downplay the rift. The whole Congress party is here. Kharge ji uh, has led from the front. We are all united to make sure this yatra becomes a success. I'm absolutely certain, just like the last yatra Rao ji did, this one also will be a grand success. And even as one wondered about the timing of Priyanka Gandhi Vadra's foreign visit, Milan Devra decided to call it quits. And speaking of timing, just when Rahul and company were calling Manipur a symbol of BJP's hatred, their leader from Maharashtra was embracing the saffron scarf. Offered by Eknath Shinde as he bid goodbye to a party that his family was associated with, Milan Devra exposed democracy charade. Why do you think uh, the space for debate and constructive debate has shrunk? Who's responsible for that space shrinking? Uh, is it because Mrs. Son? Sonia Gandhi is no longer hands-on. Is Rahul Gandhi failing to do so? Why do you say this? Because you were a colleague of uh, Rahul Gandhi, same age, same time entry. Uh, could you not speak with him directly? No, look, I, these are things which uh, now I, I don't want to get into a personal attack against anybody. But the truth is that I think this is something which the country has seen. It's not, you don't have to take my word for it. Um, and these things, you know, one leader leaves, one young promising leader leaves, you can call it an aberration. Uh, when a series of leaders leave, uh, and not in one time, but spread out year after year, there clearly is something very wrong in the system. And that's, I think, that the, uh, to me, what I think where it stems from is the fact that, you know, the, this young group of people who were promising, who were articulate, who were bright, who had a, a positive opinion about the country, wanted to indulge in constructive politics. I think we suddenly found a space that has shrunk for that kind of politics. And if you were criticizing the prime minister, if you were opposing anything the prime minister said, even if it had merit, you were rewarded. If you were indulging in psychophancy, you were rewarded. If you were indulging in constructive criticism, to be honest, that kind of automatically meant you would be disqualified and you would be reprimanded, you would be punished. And I, that's, that seemed to be the sort of the, the culture. Every organization has a culture, every political organization, every uh, business organization. Times now has a different culture from its competitors. And I think the culture in our organization is what I find un unrecognizable today. Well, under a scathing attack from one of their own, Congress chose to discredit uh, Devra instead of paying heed to his grievances. Jairam Ramesh invoked Milind Devra's father, Murli Devra, and ended up alleging that the timing of his exit was orchestrated by the Bharati Janata Party. Prime Minister, 
देखिए ये इससे एक निराशा तो होती है मैं मिलन जी को जानता हूँ मैं राजनीतिक साथी के साथ साथ उनको व्यक्तिगत मित्र भी मानता था ऐसा व्यक्ति कांग्रेस छोड़ के भारतीय जनता पार्टी से जुड़े हुए किसी भी घटक दल से जाकर जुड़ जाए मुझे बहुत आश्चर्य होता है मैं समझ सकता हूं कि व्यक्तिगत महत्वाकांक्षा होती है देखिए साहब ऐसा है ये दो चीजें होती हैं और दो सबसे बड़े प्रबल इंसान में कमजोरियां हैं एक है लालच दूसरा है भय so bharatiya janata party has hit out on the allegations that uh, bjp planned all of this and the bjp has cited scathing criticism to validate its stand asking who is the yatra giving justice to party country people or just rahul gandhi as yet another launch pad listen it main rahul gandhi ji se puchna chahta hu ki jo 1984 ke jo dange dange bhi nahi kehna chahiye one sided the danga to hota hai ki two side ladai mein kare jo atyachar hamari community ke khilaf hua उसके न्याय के बारे में उन्होंने क्या सोचा कभी जो पीड़ित हैं उन्नीस के और जो उन कॉलोनियों में रहते हैं कोई उनसे जाके उन्होंने कभी माफ़ी मांगी है तो न्याय तो पहले तो अंदर देखिए क्या हो रहा है तो मैं समझता हूं कि ये राहुल गांधी ज़रा डिस्ट्रैक्टेड हैं और डिस्ट्रैक्टेड होने के ज़माने में कई कई चीज़ें बोल जाते हैं वो आ, उनके लोगों ने सनातन धर्म के बारे भी कहा ये कहा बड़ी अनफॉर्चुनेट समझता हूँ मैं पॉलिटिक्स इज़ अ हॉबी फॉर दिम it is a sunday day to relax so it is a personal decision when to join when not to join having said that the objective of the entire brigade participating in the bharat badnam karo yatra is anyways to defame india insult india lower the morale of the forces insult the religion of the other people uh, if uh, ms priyanka gandhi if she has not joined today then she must utilize this time at home to introspect why under the command of her brother the congress party is collapsing like a house of cards Let's go across to Niyamika joining us with more details. Niyamika, uh, the Congress party, you know, is blaming one uh, Mr. Deora himself, saying uh, the seat went to someone else, and that's why he uh, changed camps. And also uh, blaming that the BJP has timed and planned all of this. Well, absolutely. But if we talk about this uh, uh, yatra, which is being named as the Bharat Jodo Nyay Yatra, the Congress Party is saying that uh, uh, this is basically an ideological yatra. As uh, they are saying that uh, there are a lot of issues which needs to be raised, and uh, uh, for that matter, they are also attacking the government of India and the BJP by saying that uh, it is a party which is trying to do polarization in the country, and that is the reason why it is very much necessary for the Congress Party to approach the people, to speak to them, and listen to their voices as what are their real issues. Uh, which the congress party needs to raise and that is the reason why yesterday also we have seen how rahul gandhi has addressed a public gathering in which he mentioned that uh, uh, we are here to listen to the problems of, uh, to the issues which uh, the people of manipur had faced as he mentioned uh, that it was a it was a deliberate choice uh, to start mm. this yatra from the state of manipur because uh, uh, because of the violence that had erupted in the past 8 months uh, that has affected a lot and that is the reason why he right. has also made an attack on prime minister narendra modi by saying that he is kept silent he didn't even right. uh, of course, uh, you know, the bjp even, of course has linked uh, mr devra's exit to nyay yatra questioning who nyay yatra actually is giving justice to nyay 